It's indeed a pleasure to have you join us once again on your educative and incisive program, Economy Today. The program, Economy Today, brings to the fore issues of national discourse in various sectors of the Nigerian economy as it affects our growth and development. I am Zainab Ubiti. In continuation of our special report on the project's 100 beneficiary companies, we will bring to you an exclusive interview we had with engineer Chilaka Ugolji, the proactive and resolute managing director of Bridge Sites Nigeria Limited, as well as Bridge T and Junior, the dynamic and seasoned president of Japan International Limited. Also, in the lineup, we have a face to face discussion with Olade Indi Ademola, international managing director of Perry Wilson Limited. Please join us again. Bridgesite Nigeria Limited is one of the beneficiary company of the Project 100 program anchored by the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB. Bridgesite is a wholly Nigerian company that provides unalloyed services in the area of pipeline fabrication and welding, dredging and piling, engineering design, civil construction, blasting and painting, onshore offshore logistics, electrical and instrumentation, amongst others. Engineer Chilaka Ugoji is the managing director. Bridgeside Nigeria Limited is uh, an indigenous Nigerian company, 100%. We were set up in 1997. I personally set up uh, Bridgeside in 1997. We started as a consultancy outfit while I was also doing work in other um, organizations. And um, from there, we went into logistics support services as we, I built confidence in myself and the ability to be an entrepreneur I decided to back out from working for other other uh, organizations and started the business in full force in 2003 and here we are today from inception our vision is to become a leading solution in providing engineering EPC services in the oil and gas industry we as a local company we, 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 we strive on excellence and, and that is what has propelled us to, to this stage. He speaks on the uniqueness of his service delivery. We always try to be forthright and frank in, in, uh, in our approach to everything. You know, from the beginning, we, we, if, if it's a challenge we know we cannot um, be able to meet, we tell you from the beginning. And um, so we, we try to be truthful to ourselves and truthful to the client. Then at the end of the day, we also look at it that we, we add value to whatever you know responsibility we are we are given. If, you know, in terms of a project, we try to complete the project at the highest quality on time. To tell you the truth, we are doing a lot of businesses with um, a lot of uh, as subcontracts to a lot of uh, companies that have already gotten projects uh, in the oil and gas. For so we did a lot of subcontracts for a lot of companies until we built our own ability, and now we are working for Shell, we are working for Ajib, we are working for Chevron and we are also looking at working for other IOCs. So it is based on the, their perception of our performance. We are at, right now ISO 9001 certified in terms of quality. So quality we are there, integrity we are there, and commitment we are there. When we receive the email um, to submit um, some information regarding our organization, we, we had some doubt as to whether what the process was really all about. But however, because we've built, we've looked at ourselves inwardly and we try to do the right thing all the time. We have all, already all the statutory papers, the infrastructure to be able to meet up those requirements. So we decided to submit. And to, to, to tell you the truth, we were not expecting much to come from it. And then suddenly we just got an email and then a launching in Lagos. And um, for me, as an organization, we, we've worked hard. Um, from the strength of our hands and from our sheer intelligence without any government support to the where we are today and um, having received that kind of cognition from government we are very excited and we hope that it's a very good initiative it's a strong one and um, we, we are we are trying we as an organization we are keen into it and we are committed to seeing that even the trust 
so as it were by even appointing us to be part of this um, initiative that that trust will not we're not going to let it down as a highly innovative company that seeks best results for the valid clients members of staff are trained to meet these needs bariti Umibo, the human resources and admin manager tells us about his office Bridgeside has over 600 uh, staff which is spread around different sites and locations so uh, what we do or what i do is to have a suggestion box where we can have the the minds of the workers in each of these locations so at the end of the month we can filter into it and know which one is relevant and what the staff really needs one of our our main objective is to also assist our client in terms of the provisions of our host communities need like the scholarships like uh, in terms of uh, sometimes they call us for occasions for launchings of uh, some things which are relevant to the community so we also assist in that we are presently sponsoring some students in uh, a little more community okay, which is our host community and uh, in the projects that we are doing those communities will also assist them Damboyi Harrison, the project manager, also bear his mind on their operations. We've actually worked in the swamp, we've worked on the, uh, the lands. Uh, we just concluded a, a 60 meter reinforced uh, concrete bridge for MPDC in Wari and is yet to be commissioned. Uh, it was very challenging and um, tax demanding, but um, our team, our engineering team, were able to, to deliver the, the job to the satisfaction of the client. The security is a, is a, is a challenging issue on our project sites. Um, just uh, recently, uh, we are running a project for Ajip at the uh, Oshi area, where you have some, uh, some persons who come in the name of, uh, uh, of thugs, hoodlums, demanding for ransom. Uh, you be paying them even when they don't come to site, and then uh, you have to talk with the client and uh, the arrangement of uh, forced uh, armed forced men will be on ground. So we have gone to the extent of going to our locations with armed men to deliver the project. He tells us more about his success story. The, the right personnel at the right positions helps make my work easier and he also helps to propel the organization. From inception, we, I started this business more or less with my picking my relations here and there. And then over time, we have been able to grow. And I've told everybody that look, each department, the human resources department, by the that is here, it's from Ogoni land. I was not part of the interview. And he came first, and we took him. And with that, that is our philosophy. We take anybody from any part of the world, provided, or any part of the country, as provided that you fit that portfolio and you can do your work well. And that has helped us you know in uh, in terms of um you know in terms of excelling in what we do and then also we we collaborate sometimes with um, institutions we do a few things in areas that we don't um, have the competence like uniben we approach them and then we seek um, some high level um, information from uh, people there uh, from the civil engineering department and all that we collaborate with them to be able to build more understanding Ugoji. Challenges are part of the experiences of any growing business and he shares with us some of his expectations from the Project 100 team. Our expectation is that Eva can provide us with um, you know, more access to better businesses in the oil and gas industry and also adequate funding to support uh, those uh, uh, businesses and access to more technology. Sometimes we try to uh, send uh, information across to 
uh, partners abroad because of the kind of um, reputation that Nigerian businesses have. They don't take you um, on your first word until until you, they try to prove. And so it's an aspect of business that it is an aspect that we need to improve as an organization. We are by, okay, Brisite is known and all the Project 100 companies are known and wherever they make a request, they make a request to an OEM in America, they are, they are well introduced and they can easily respond to them rather than looking at them like any other uh, Nigerian company. Those are the advantages, some other big, big organizations, hidden advantages that they have that we don't have. For instance, if a company like Cypem sends an, an RFQ to any company in the whole world, they immediately get feedback. But for a small company like us, nobody really knows us. So you have to convince and convince and convince them that you are genuine before they can even talk to you. So these are some of the challenges. My expectation is that if with the level that we've achieved so far, if we are able to get the right support, we should be able to exponentially grow that kind of achievement. And um, so, and those supports will come in terms of giving us access to the industry. Because a lot of we on our own, we, you know, cannot do it alone giving us access to the industry and, and also we we'll find that uh, we never really got any banking, any support from the financial industry. Most of the uh, supports we get were when you have already achieved it with the, the project, then they request for invoice discounting and at high percentages of these invoices. But we struggle to play around with that to the level where we are today. So when we have the right funding at the right prices, and then we are able to explore more. We are able to be more innovative in, in what we do. Uh, for instance, we are trying to divest the company into areas of manufacturing, where we have steady, um, um, and where we also maintain our steady workforce. We are running over 600 personnel in this uh, location. With the right support from government, Bridge Site is poised to make waves in the oil and gas industry. Hello there. Welcome to the Prime Time School, Paysetters, where we nurture your wards to become responsible adults. Our facilities include conducive learning environment, experienced and qualified teachers, modern learning instructional materials, computer education, music classes and many more. We teach our pupils to be bold. We celebrate excellence. And we have fun. Let's give your ward a paysetting experience. Call us on 0802325993 or 0806702743 or visit us at Zone A and Zone E, Iba Housing Estate, Lagos. Yakin International Limited is a proudly Nigerian indigenous oil and gas service company with a distinguished quest for excellence in project delivery. Briggs T. N. Jr. is the amiable president. Yakin International Limited is a Nigerian whole company. All the shareholders are Nigerian. Uh, Yakin International Limited has been around for a while. Uh, we provide services to the IOCs and uh, basically we do four major business. We support them in the area of their piping system, we also support them in the area of their logistics, we support them in the area of their, I mean all their rotating equipment, we maintain it and uh, we keep maintaining it. We also support them in the area of their fabrications and uh, now we are talking about going to subsea to support the IOCs. The company was incorporated in 93, but will actually go into business in 2000. Founded on the promise to create value, solve problems, every new venture is undertaken to efficiently impact the environment. In Jacob International Limited, here we create value, we create solution, and our, one of our goals that brought us to where we are today, we've been able to create value, solution, in difficult problems the IOC has. I can beat myself chest to say that there are, there are projects, there are things that we've done in the past or we are still doing, that they've been creating value, that they keep calling us to come and do it again and again. You know, So that's our, our drive. Our drive is to ensure 
that will create value to our country, will create value to our economy, will create value to our society, will create value to our different families. So that if, because whoever that works here have a family, and I can assure you that family has an extended family. He speaks on his vision and expectation from government. My mission vision is to take Jacob to a place where no other company in Nigeria has been before. Create value, you know, to our economy. I mean, I mean, create value to our society. Create opportunity to Nigerians. So what government should do, in my op uh, opinion, I mean, the agency, they should ease way of doing, obtaining a permit. Now, for example, if you take a, a US, you can sit in your house and get a, whatever license you are looking for. They will issue it to you on the value base of the document you submitted and you get it. So what they do, they will then take that same document and give it to the compliant people to go and verify with you. Based on, I mean, the reason they gave you those uh, permits. So if they come to you and they find out that the information you gave them are wrong, they penalize you strongly. That's what the government should do. The government should be able to have a system that manage consequences. People should be accounted for. People should, I mean, take full responsibility for their actions. So we need to ease the way of doing business. It's not helping matter. One. Two, we need to also put our tax system straight. With a corporate resolve to be a reference point in every service delivered to the teaming clients, the company ensures that training is given a pride of place in their operations. You can't run away from capacity building because that is the, that's the cross of the, of the company. You know, we do some in-house, meaning we bring in the expatriate to, I mean, the expatriate means it's not, does not mean it must be a, a different color skin. No, Nigerians are also expatriate. No, I've met a situation uh, uh, in our Jeep where equipment was bad, they, they could not fix it locally, they insisted uh, the expatriate should come to Nigeria and fix it. And the person they brought was a Nigerian. In several occasions, they will blew in Nigerians to fix it and, and the Nigerians will go back, tell them to say no, they, say, ah, they won't stay, you know, and, and all the rest. So what, what we want to do, to see how we can bring those people home and get the things done. You know, government will not be able, that's the private sector driven. So I think Project 100, the way I see it, the way I sense it, if they will be sincere to the letter. For, like I told you earlier, NCDMB, I have confidence in them. But I think the Ministry of Petroleum should prove their confidence on us. As a seasoned operator in the oil and gas industry, he tells us about his challenges and their issues. I talk about operation power, it's a, it's a major one. Security is a major one. I mean, the whole environment is, even the air we breathe in Portacourt is hostile. Even the air we breathe. I guess you must have had a suit. So you can see the air itself is not friendly. So <laughs> the challenge are just enormous. Basically, if you talk about structure, human capital development, yes, we have, we have good brains, we have good people that can get the job done. Yes, we do. And for we to start, uh, there are one or two more equipment we are waiting for. We need to procure from the US, about, it will cost about uh, close to $2 million. So why are we not procured? Because we are waiting to execute job. By the time we execute job, I mean several jobs, we will generate those money, we bring the equipment, then we will start, we will kick off. The manpower is there, the, the technology transfer is already there because, I mean, we have also agreed that when we bring this equipment, there will be training, in-house training and retraining of Nigerians to be able to operate and maximize the ECM equipment to create value to our IOC, to our economy as a whole. I don't know what they have in mind. Uh, we'll take it one day at a time. Today you are here. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know what they will come, but we'll take it one day at a time. Yakin International Limited is no doubt in business to promote commercial awareness, local capacity development and teamwork. Hello there. Welcome to the Prime Time School, Paysetters, where we nurture your wards to become responsible adults. Our facilities include conducive learning environment, experienced and qualified teachers, modern learning instructional materials, computer education, music classes and many more. 
We teach our pupils to be bold. We celebrate excellence. And we have fun. Let's give your ward a pay setting experience. Call us on 0802325993 or 0806702743. Or visit us at Zone A and Zone E, Eba Housing Estate, Lagos. Limited is a wholly owned Nigerian indigenous company, it's an engineering company that provides various engineering services across the board. The company was established in 2006, September 2006, and we, we actually started business some years after that time. Um, our trust in conception was to service the Nigerian oil and gas, especially at the time that uh, Nigerian content was being pushed by the federal government. Uh, part of the thinking of the stakeholders then was to capitalize and exploit uh, these opportunities uh, positively towards uh, adding value to, to Nigeria. Uh, this we have done successfully for years. We, we have over 60 ad hoc staff uh, working for Shell right now in Polagot. We are known to be specialists in the areas that we provide services. Service that includes but not limited to procurement, supply chain management. We provide services in construction of the three formative areas of engineering, which are civil, mechanical, and electrical engineering services. We are also known to provide services that borders on quality and inspection services quality assurance and quality control. The federal government's initiative through the NCDMB is a very laudable one, very laudable and good opportunity offered to Nigerian companies. Anybody that wants to play in the Nigerian oil and gas industry must be ready to conform and to fit into regulations. These regulations borders on taxes, paying your tax on time, uh, registering with the DPR and make sure that you have all the different certifications needed to work in the areas uh, that you want to work in. Registering and also talking to people like NIPEX, NAPIMS, and resident with the different oil, oil companies in Nigeria. In order to build capacity, you need, first let me start from technical expertise. You need the room for technical experts. The government and the people of Nigeria must put Nigeria in, in the world space in such a way that foreigners will trust Nigerians. We want NCDMB to assist most Nigerians to have access to develop technology, to meet international economies that have this technology, and to learn, it costs money. Most companies, when they struggle to, to pay salaries, to continue to keep up with the normal business 
uh, environment, it could be expensive. For instance, when you even train staff, you send somebody abroad for for two years, and the person the next day goes to another <laughs> company. So you need to train ten people to expect two or three people to stay. The NCDMB is doing well. I will rate them. I will not rate them too high so that they don't feel they are they are they are there. But we are trying. If you go to other other countries, there are a lot of things we are doing here that they still throw out for foreigners to do. A lot of Nigerians are engaged, but we are not engaged enough. We are not engaged enough. The bidding process is too long. You can be the job for four years, two years. Uh, the disadvantage of that is because you don't know where your next meal is from, you'll be doing everything. And you don't have to do that. It's reasonably fair. It's not perfect. That's our package for today. I'm sure it was quite engaging. We deliberate efforts and policy from government through the NCDMB to ensure development and patronage of local capacities and capabilities, the Project 100 beneficiary companies will no doubt be a reference point in the oil and gas industry in Nigeria. To watch our previous episodes, visit www.youtube.com forward slash economy today on NTAI. Just before I sign out, we the entire crew wish to express our deepest appreciation to our esteemed clients and of course, our viewers. Till I come your way again, I am Zainab. Obedience. Stay blessed.